parent of a child in high school sports, you know at some point you are going to be asked to contribute to what? The concession stand. Well, I've got a great recipe here that is perfect. It's going to be a big seller at your concession stand because it is crock pot mac and cheese. They're going to love it. You're going to love it because it's easy to make. So let me get started. First of all, what you want to do, you want to cook and drain 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. Now, when I say cook, you're going to undercook it. It calls for nine minutes. I cook this for six minutes. So that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to add that to your pot. We are going to add two cups of milk to this. I'm using a fat-free milk just because that's what I have on hand. Next, we are going to add one cup of sour cream. Again, I'm using low-fat kind. Honestly, this is not a low-fat meal whatsoever, but what's great about it is, you know people are going to love it. I know my child was in soccer, uh, so it was always cold. Everyone was looking for something warm, and it was always right at dinner time. So this is going to be tasty, and people are going to love it, but it's not low-cal, I'll tell you that. Next, I'm adding two cans of cheddar cheese soup. Yes, I know, I'm using a can thing, but sometimes as a mom and a mom of kids in sports, you gotta do things kind of the easy way. And the way I look at it is, this is at least two steps up from your boxed mac and cheese. Next to this, I'm going to add eight tablespoons of butter. Yes, eight but it's all gonna be good. To that, I'm going to add one, ta um, one teaspoon each of dry mustard, salt, and pepper. In addition, and this is optional, you can add a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just a little kick, I like that. Uh, and so does my family. Uh, I'm gonna stir this up, make sure it's nice and mixed up. To this mixture, four cups of cheese. I have a mixture here of uh, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, and actually uh, like a, a, a half a cup of it is um, the fancy shredded Mexican cheese, which is a blend of multiple cheeses. So I'm just adding that. I'm using what's in my refrigerator. So we're going to mix this up really well, and then we are going to put the, cover this, we're gonna put this on low for approximately two hours. This spent two hours in the crock pot on low with an occasional stir. I think I stirred it about three times throughout the process just to make sure it didn't stick. And this is the result. Creamy, yummy, crock pot mac and cheese. It is gonna be a big seller at your concession stand or it's perfect for a big group of people. Thank you for joining me and we will see you next week on SimpleSolutionsDiva.com.